So it's time to hit the practice field. What are you going to work on? I will show you exactly how to figure that out. What's life's most precious commodity? That's right, it's time. But after work, school, spending time with our families, we don't have that much time left over to dedicate to our sport, to our passion. But we know we have to get out there and practice or else we're just going to keep sucking, right? But what are we doing when we get out there? Let's do the one or two things. We are working on memory, on the last bad thing we did during a round, something that really stuck out in our minds that we need to work on. Or we just kind of go out there and just do, go through a routine, we'll, we'll throw some mid ranges, some drives, and then we're done. We didn't really work on anything specifically, which is a mistake. You want to have something specifically in mind each and every time you go out to the practice field. Here's what I do to make sure I know specifically what area of my game I need to work on. After the round is done, I do a post round analysis. I call it a DAP analysis for driving, approaching, and putting. Take pen to paper and you go shot by shot. The question you ask yourself for every shot is, did I execute it the way I wanted to? This analysis is going to measure execution. Not result. Your scorecard measures result. This analysis measures your execution. Just like a shot that you pulled right, hits a tree, goes into the basket for a hole in one, is not a good shot. Also, a shot that you executed perfectly, but hits some wind and flips and goes out of bounds, that is not a bad shot. We are here to measure execution. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I put pen to paper. Remember, this is quick, you get it done in five minutes, and you wanna get it done as soon as you are done with the round so it's fresh in your mind. I'm only gonna show you five holes. I'm not gonna go through all 18, but this was an actual round. What I do here is just an example. I want you to fly with it, make your own notations, your own little uh, notes, however you wanna do it. Use your style. Hole one. I did not execute correctly, so that is a one, that's a bad drive. My approach was a good one. I left myself with a five footer, so that's a good approach. You, I use an upshot, it's just quicker for me. And then my putt, like I said, it was a five foot putt, so I made it, putt, five feet, the five footer, that's gonna remind me later on when I go back and look at my notes. It gives me a better sense of what I did in that round. So that was a three. Hole two, oh, that was a good drive. I was left with a 30 foot putt. And I made that putt. Now you're thinking like, hold on, you were 30 feet away, that must not have been that good of a drive. Remember, it's not the result, it's the execution. Uh, the, the, the disc flew the way I wanted to, on the line that I wanted to. Yeah, it didn't end up right by the basket, but I was very happy I did what I wanted to do. It flew the way I wanted to fly. That was a two. Another tip for putting, if you are a regular stance putter and sometimes you have a straddle putt, so you wanna make little notes like that, for example, that to me indicates that's a straddle putt. So it, it, it reminds you as you come out, as you go along. Hole three, I had a bad drive. I had a, um, I missed a putt, and that was a 50 foot putt that I missed, and I did make the comeback, so that ended up being a three on that one. Hole four, bad drive again, and then I had a bad approach, and I missed my putt and it was only a 15 foot putt so how can I say that that was a bad approach if I was only 15 feet 
easy. I landed in some bushes. I didn't land by the basket. So I missed my 15 footer from the bushes. I made the comeback. So that's a four right there. Hole five. That was a good drive. And I made my 30 foot putt. That was a deuce. So these are the scores. So now what I'm left with is adding up my DAP for my totals. I'll go through my drives. I had one, two, three bad drives. Then I go through my approaches. There's a U, there's a U, there's one. So that I had one bad approach. And then I'll look at my putts. Zero, zero, zero. No, one, two missed putts. Okay. So then I'm going to see what is my big number in this. The big number is the three, the three drives. Now, what I go back to, I analyze only the bad drives. And I make little margin notes on the side as to what happened. Okay, hole one, I had a hyzer flip in mind that I pulled it right. So, hyzer flip. Hold right. Hold three. What was that? Um, I saw that one off left. Just early release. Didn't go down the way I wanted to. Hold four. That was a hold right again. After I'm done looking at my margin notes for all the bad drives. I look, I read the margin notes again, looking for trends. What is the main thing I did wrong? Did I do something wrong repeatedly? And you can tell right here that I did. I pulled on hole one, I pulled it right. And on hole four, I pulled it right. There's my trend, that's gonna give me a very precise thing to work on when I go back out to the field. So my fix is late release or pull right. And that's the DAP analysis. I really hope it helps you figure out exactly what you need to work on and that it saves you time and energy. Remember, be honest with yourself and don't go out to the practice field unless you know exactly what you need to work on. Do the analysis often and please comment below. Let me know how it helped you, what tweaks you've added to it. Until the next time, make practice fun.